Tanze shen go frenetigasen, soto iskenigenik otse nia. Hello, I'm a student at the First Nations University of Canada. I am enrolled in the Indigenous Social Work program, working towards obtaining a bachelor's degree. I am in a Indigenous Social Work 351 class, and my professor is Elaine Lavalley. We were assigned to do a craft project, to, so today I will be discussing my craft project I chosen, and I decided to pick um, to bead a pair of earrings and a necklace. Making this decision had taken a lot of thought and effort because I was second guessing myself and I had a lot of self doubt. This arose from previous experiences of me trying to bead and having a lack of confidence and patience and I ended up quitting. So I never tried to bead again. So finalizing the decision to bead the earrings and necklace was because I had told my mother about my ideas for my craft project. Nika Lee, my mother, had mailed me a package full of beautiful cut beads. That was when my craft project was finalized. I decided to bead the earrings and necklace and test my skills and abilities. I chose to use turquoise, black, and white beads. These three colors had popped in my my head when I seen all the beads Nico Lee had sent me. I did not have any designs prior, so when I started beading, I just decided to roll with my intuition. I started beading the necklace, and I started beading from the middle of the rope. So I started with about maybe 10 beads on my thread, then I wrapped it around, then I tacked it down, and then I'd go through my last bead that I had tacked down and then continue the whole process. When I first started my necklace, I soon realized how difficult it was to bead with long gel nails. They made it difficult to thread my needle and tightening my beadwork. So by the time I had finished my necklace, I ended up clipping off my gel nails. I made the decision to retire my long nails as I found a new hobby and um, a new hobby that I'd like to pursue. I was totally fine with cutting my gel nails off that it was about time to give them a rest now. So continuing on with my beading, I then started on the earrings and I just used the same three colors I previously used on the necklace. I was unsure how to edge and assemble the earrings but with the help of a YouTube video I succeeded in putting the earrings together and edging them also. This craft project has enhanced the low patience that I once had and it has made me open my mind to my creativ creativity that I had within. This is a good I this is a good tool to use for myself and suggesting to clients as it's very relaxing and it tests really tests your patience and it is a form of therapy also. It also makes you feel really fulfilling once your project is done. And you see how beautiful it is because when I first started, I self-doubted myself. Now, by the end of it, I really enjoy it. And I never thought I would have the patience to bead. But I connect this with my, with my class as we're learning about traditional knowledge and traditional ways and the traditional ways of our in of our ancestors and indigenous people. And beading was a way for us to express our art. And for many tribes, it was a way for them to express different tribes or, you know, their, um, their colors, their designs. And it was a form of therapy. And it's good for self-care as well. 
because you really take time for yourself and by the end when you're done you feel really good but that is my craft project here are the earrings and the necklace i didn't add on any le white leather as it's not safe to go outside right now so once i'm able to go to gales i will do that and i will be gifting this to nicoli my mother and these are her favorite colors so it's just a, a special gift and you know no other gift could top a gift like this that's handmade with love and she'll realize how much patience i really needed to finish this project but anyways, I suggest beading to all as it's really helpful and it declines stress and it's just soothing for the soul. Take care. Hi, hi.